Hey everybody, Hope here from Teach with Hope, and I am here with a technology post for you guys today. I want to show you how to create a book trailer or video trailer using iMovie. So I created a book trailer on Mo Willems, or I guess an author trailer, and I posted that to my Facebook page a few weeks ago, and um, teachers were pretty excited about it, so I thought I would share with you all how I did that. Um, and it's just a great way uh, for you to create book trailers and get kids excited about new authors, new books, new book series, or you can also work with your whole class or small groups of kids to have them create their own book trailers. So I'm going to walk you through how to do that using an iPad. Um, and I hope this is quick because it is super simple once you get started, but I also want to go at a good pace so that you're able to recreate this on your own. So what you need to do is first on your iPad, go to iMovie. Once you have that open, just click the plus up in that top left corner, corner, and this will pop up, and you're just going to choose trailer. So instead of movie, choose trailer. And then once you have trailer, you have all of these different themes here that you can pick from. Um, so what I would suggest is choosing a theme, so going and picking it, and then hitting this play button. And once you hit the play button, it'll show you, um, the, you know, the music that goes with that theme, the transitions that go with that theme, and you'll just have to pick one that works best. So another teacher, created a scary one that went along with the grouchy ladybug and it was actually pretty funny. Um, I think she did that with her kindergarten class or their superhero themes, um, all kinds of different ones and they each have different types of music that go with them. So the one that I used for the Mo Willems book trailer was this retro theme. So once you pick your theme, after you play them and decide on which one you want, um, go ahead and click it down here on the bottom and then at the top right corner there's this uh, little create button. So click create and then this will pop up. And so in the top, you have top right, you have outline and you have storyboard. So the outline isn't a huge deal. Um, you can go in and change that, but I would almost save it until last. Um, and the reason for that is, is it doesn't show up until the end of the video. It's kind of that credits part. So you can go in and change it. So what I like is using this button right here that pops up clear. And then once I hit clear, I'm just going to type in Mo. And then I'm going to change spy, hit clear again so it deletes it all, and add Mo Willems. And that'll change the title. Um, really, the rest of it doesn't matter a whole lot, but you can go in and change it to, um, like, Pigeon, who's one of his book characters. Um, and then I'm going to just take off this last name. So one thing is, is that when I take off this last name, that it is going to try to... Um, make me keep it. So when I click off of it, it's going to make me keep that apple seed last name and I don't want to. So what I'm going to do is clear it and then just hit the space. And then once I hit the space, it will go away. So hopefully that makes sense. Okay. So next, after I get everything filled in, so I have some of this kind of pre-filled in here, you just click. Um, so directed by Mo, edited by Piggy, written by Duckling. So I just picked some of the characters, director of photography, um, and then production designer Leonardo. So just kind of fill that in, have the kids fill it in with the book characters that have to do with the trailer. Um, and like I said, that's not a huge important piece of creating this. So don't you know, feel like you have to spend a ton of time. Here is where it gets fun. So you next click your storyboard. So after you have clicked your storyboard, you are going to go in and add um, different titles. So right here, I'm going to keep this Newport Films, which is my last name. You would obviously change that to fit your classroom. And that's not the title. It's just kind of, um, yeah, who made the movie. So right now it says in the fight between good and evil. Um, so I'm going to go in and change that. And I'm just going to keep it super simple and type in Mo. And then I'm going to make this big font down here, Willems. And so it's kind of neat to be able to see um, how the fonts end up showing up there. So if I wanted it to be different and I wanted um, this to say Willems small. And then, I don't know, type something else here like best author ever. I don't know, whatever it is that you want to be, okay? So I'm going to actually clear all of this out and I'm gonna show you what I did. So I, just to kind of get them excited, I put one and then here I put author. And then I'm gonna click done and I'm gonna go down to the next one. And then it says, and I'm gonna keep that and then I'm gonna clear and add in illustrator. And so I can kind of see how the text is going in over here on the left and then I'm entering it over here on the right. And if I want to see how this is playing out, all I have to do is kind of click the top here 
I'm going to hide my uh, keyboard down here in the bottom right hand corner and I can click play over here and once I click play it'll show me exactly what it's looking like and what's happening so you can see it's going to run us through so that you can see so if I like how that works, I can leave it if I don't then I can go in and change it so right now I'm liking it to change all of these different wordings. So what I would suggest before you have kids do that is have them download the pictures that they're going to add here. And I have already pre-done that for you, but I'm gonna show you just a super simple way to do it. So what I do is I just close out iMovie. It'll keep it all saved for you, don't have to worry. I'm gonna to go to um, Safari or Chrome or whatever it is that you use. And just up here in the search bar, I am gonna go ahead and type um, in whatever pictures I want to find. So I might even just start with the author or the title of the book and I'm going to click go and images. So once I have the images I can scroll through and choose the ones that I like best that will fit with my video. So this is one of the ones that I picked here. So what you want to do when you're creating yours or you're showing kids is make sure that they actually click the image and make it large. Okay, and then click in the middle or wherever on the image and hold, and then this will pop up. You just click save image and you're done. The image is now saved to your photos. So again, you find an image that you want, you click it, and then notice how that one, it was really grainy at first and then it looks great now. So if it does look grainy when you pull it up, you might wanna exit back out and choose a different picture, but this one looks great. So again, I click and hold with my finger and save image and now my image is saved. Okay, so that is how you go in and find pictures. So what I would recommend is first having the kids maybe make a list of all of the characters that they want to find, a few of the author, the illustrator, and then going through and looking for those. And they might, you know, choose some mixed ones where there's some different characters in there, whatever they pick. And they can choose, you know, more than they need as well. So I'm going to go back to my iMovie here. Okay, and I'm right back where I started. So right here, I have the picture that I needed. So once I have in one author here, all I need to do is click where that picture is. So see how I'm doing that? Just clicking where that picture is. And right here, my photos show up. So I'm gonna choose my recently added photos and I'm gonna go and just pick this image that I chose and it pops it right in there. I'm gonna go down here to where the illustrator, choose the picture where he's illustrating. So you can see I already have uh, gone in and downloaded all of those pictures that I needed, okay? So next, I'm gonna just think about what I wanted to say. So I have one author, one illustrator, and then I'm gonna come in here, clear, I'm gonna put brings you, and then I'm gonna make these big words, laughs. And then the little words on the bottom, with. Build some anticipation with who those characters are, okay? And the other thing, like I said, you don't have to fill every box. Just remember that if you are not going to fill that box, clear it and put a space in there. So I'll show you that one more time, clear it, and make sure you put a space in there. But I do want that box filled, so I'm gonna keep it there, okay? So I'm gonna click done, and then down here, I'm gonna clear this, and I'm gonna keep pigeon in here. Um, and you can you know, put with in that blue box, it's up to you, but you don't, you don't have to. So then I'm going to add a picture of pigeon here. Let's see if I can find him, oh, here he is. So I add his picture there, and he looks good, okay? And then I'm just going to clear that and I'm just gonna put in don't. Let the pigeon dot, dot, dot. Okay, and then I'm gonna showcase a couple of pigeon books here. And you know what, I actually, this is a great time to show you that. So I'm gonna put this pigeon book here and this pigeon book here. And then this picture right here, I'm actually going to change it and um, so I don't want the picture that I originally put in there. So I'm just going to click it. So see again how I clicked it. I'm going to choose edit shot, maybe. Um, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I see. Sorry about that. So go ahead and click it. And then I'm going to click delete right there. And then it will let me go. So again, if I put a picture in there that I don't, oh, geez. So recently added. And of course, it's not showing any of my pictures. It's showing all my videos to you guys. Okay. So here are the pictures right here. So I'm gonna click that. Okay, usually this is not, oh, I see why. Okay, do you guys see that? So I'm holding right here where I have my pictures. I'm clicking here. 
So I am down here on the bottom left hand corner under videos. I just need to click photos. So I'm making it more difficult on myself than it actually is. Okay. So now I'm going to choose a different picture of the pigeon. And I think I actually like this one where the pigeon is kind of freaking out in the background of him. Okay. So once I click that, see how it was kind of off? Super simple. All I need to do is drag it where I want it. So same thing here. I can kind of move it around a little bit and here, and this is going to zoom in and out. So if I'm not liking how that looks again, I can just click up here, move that keyboard out of my way, hit play so that I can actually see what it's going to look like. So So don't let the pigeon, and then I'm going to add elephant and piggy. Super simple. Right here, I'm going to put a picture of them if I can find one that I downloaded. Here we go. Perfect. Super simple. And so again, just make sure that you aren't on the video or the camera there. You want to make sure that on that very bottom, you are on photos, and then you're good to go. Okay. Um, another book character that I downloaded and your kids, once they're making these book trailers or once you're making those book trailers, you're going to know exactly which characters you want to add. And so I'm seeing how the font is small on the top. So I'm going to make monster and big font. If I'm not liking that. I can easily change it around, choose the picture, Leonardo the monster is done. Um, I'm going to add Edwina so, and, and then I want her name to be big, Edwina. Done. Picture. Let's find Edwina. Where are you, my dear? There she is. So see right here how I downloaded two different pictures? That is because, so I'm going to click that. I'm going to delete that picture. I'm going to choose this one. Delete that picture because I downloaded two different pictures and one of them was blurry. So I'm going to choose the one that is not blurry. I did it again. So this one is the not blurry one. There we go. I'm going to choose it and kind of scoot it down so we can see her. Okay. So we've got Edwina. So I'm done with that. And I'm just going to add you'll read them. And then here I'm going to add again and again. Okay. And then I'm going to just add some random pictures here. So you'll read them again and again. I'm just going to add any pictures that I want to, the cat, mixed characters, um, we've got this one, let's see, the duckling, and I need one more, let's see, let's do, so see this is where I would easily go back and just download one more picture, but because I already showed you how to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and just add kind of a duplicate in there. Okay. So I'm going to click these pictures one more time. So this is going to kind of zoom in and out on these. And I can see that again, if I click here, hide my keyboard and click play, and it will show me exactly what it's going to look like. <laughs> kind of go in Mo Willems fashion and say why are and then I know summer's going to be big so I'm going to keep you and then clear still and see so when I clicked still I want to add here okay but I don't want it to be on the next page I'm going to add go to the next page that's just what I want to add you don't need to do that so I'm going to show you that one more time. So why are you is small, still here is big. And then when I clicked where it says evil right here, it changed me to another slide. So I'm going to change that and say go with some urgency there. Okay. And then I'm going to add one more picture. And I think I'm running out because I didn't download enough as I was trying to show you this. So because you already know how to do pictures, I'm just going to put them in there. And then... I'm going to put find your favorite. So go find your favorite. Okay. Done. And then I would just put maybe another one of mixed characters in there, but I wouldn't do a repeat. I'm just showing you. 
okay? So, and then on the bottom, it says Mo Willem. So now you can go through, and there's music already added to it. I'm not sure. I'm guessing you can't hear the music while it's playing, um, while I'm showing you this over my recording, but it does have music already added, and it fits perfectly, and you can see that in this post as well, the completed video. So there you go. That is how you complete a book trailer. You are done. <laughs> transition okay so when you finish you to save everything for you it's a one minute video and on the bottom here you don't want to click that trash can um, but you can click this middle one for the upload and you can save your video to your videos um, I'm just gonna click large because I don't need it in HD or anything so it's going to export my movie which is not what you want to see so I'm gonna stop that um, but you can do that, you can save your video. The other thing you can do is you can add it to YouTube so that it's saved on your YouTube and you don't have to have your YouTube videos public, you can keep it private, but it's just always there for you to show when you want to show. So that is how you create a book trailer using iMovie. I hope this was super helpful to you and I would love to see anything that you or your class create if you wanna share those. So thank you all for tuning in today.